Well, hello there, everyone. What day is it? Come on, tell me what day is it? No, it's not hump day. We all love that commercial. Today is Monday morning, November the 18th, and it's another episode of Coffee with Kurt. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, we've got uh, a lot to go over here in a moment, and uh, I want to tell you about this week, fantastic week. Of course, we have our Nat Fast this morning, Art Dwight speaking at the Potomac Grill. You should be there having coffee with me. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to be a great uh, talk that Art's going to do on making decisions, how important they are in our lives. And uh, then we've got a huddle here in Carroll County. We're going to get Team Network going up this way. And two Martys on Wednesday. Lower Montgomery leaders, you guys got to get out to Huckleberry Fine Art. Huckleberry is hosting. You know it's going to be a great Marty when Boots is involved. And uh, you team members of Montgomery County, you got to get out there and visit. If you haven't been to Huckleberry Fine Art, you definitely got to get there. That's number one. Number two, there's going to be some great food, I'm sure. And uh, some great networking going on there. And then down in, down under in Virginia, we've got Dennis hosting at Chantel's. You know, again, once once you know Dennis is hosting, uh, he's the, he's a bakery, for those of you who don't know. Fantastic cook. And uh, I know that's going to be a great Marty. You guys in Montgomery County, you got to get down to Virginia. He's in Sterling and, uh, and visit down there and meet some team members. We've got some great folks down there. And then on Friday, this is something I'm doing. I'm going to be spending probably a half hour to an hour with Johannes Watts on um, on a uh, you know online webinar, and he's going to be teaching me about LinkedIn. So I'm going to bring a lot of those skills to you guys, and we're going to work out a little deal. I, I my I'm working it for you. I'm going to get Johannes uh, working to help you guys, those of you who are interested in expanding in your business and working through LinkedIn. I know I I've totally underutilized that opportunity there. I want to bring some of his skills and knowledge to you as Team Network. And I'm going to do something here a little bit unusual because I, I do have a couple examples of what I want to share here. I'm going to go back uh, and talk about last week. I'm going to go backwards, first of all, to Wednesday night was the happy hour huddle at Potomac Grill. I'm telling you guys, if you have not been there, that was a fantastic event. Great turnout, great spirit, lots of new faces there. And I'm telling you, some relationships are being forged there. Um, it's just, it's... It's like a networking Marty on steroids. People are just having a great time and connecting and, and talking business. And uh, if you haven't been out to that, we meet on the second Wednesday of the, the, the month, every month from 4.30 to 7. And it's definitely worthwhile to get. So get that on your calendar for next month in December. And um, in fact, we're planning a little bit of a special kind of a holiday thing, I think, that we're going to do. Maybe even a little fundraiser or something. I think that would be good. Um, and then prior to that huddle, I'm going backwards, prior to that huddle for two hours, almost two and a half hours, all your team captains got together and sat down and we talked about the future, the whole 3.0 beta test and how it's winding down and what we're going to be doing and launching in 2014. Oh man, we have some fantastic plans for you, some great surprises. The scorecard, we're going to be bringing, I'll let, I'll let this little secret out uh, for those of you who are tuning in to Coffee with Kurt. You knew it first. Um, we're going to be going online with the uh, whole scorecard concept. You're going to be able to log in to your back office on teamnetwork.com and put your scores in. It's all going to be tallied automatically. It's going to be awesome. Um, but uh, the real, the real big surprise comes a little bit later. So uh, keep your keep your eyes and ears open for that. Um, but your team captains are working hard for you. We discussed a lot of. Uh, you know some of the strengths and weaknesses and we're going to be polishing up team network and launching the all new team network in 2014 and i think we're going to do a um, kind of a, a banquet of sorts um, and maybe a breakfast and bring everybody in and go over all the new stuff and maybe give some awards out make some record you know recognize some of the biggest uh, networkers and team network over the last year and, and celebrate that prior to that we had the uh, St. Mary's Choice, uh, well, first of all, the Bethesda Rockville Rainmakers met on Tuesday at Bethesda at the Sinorama, and it was a great Marty. We only had about maybe 12, 13 people there, but as we went around the room, the testimonials about how much business people are getting from Team Network, I mean, even surprised me just how enthusiastic everybody was about what they're getting out of it for, for the dollars and the time that they're putting in. 
And I, you know, I was, it was just kind of a shame that there weren't more people there to hear that, especially guests. Uh, which brings me to the St. Mary's Choice. <coughs> you guys down there in St. Mary's County had an awesome Marty. Win Briscoe, I've got to give you credit. And I think this is a lesson to be learned for you hosts. Whenever you're hosting a Marty, Win had, we had about 25 people there. It's the best turnout we've had in a long time, maybe if ever, in St. Mary's County. And uh, I would say there was maybe, you know, eight to ten team members there. And the rest of them were guests. So that makes, what, 15 guests? And I'll bet you 80% of those came from Win, which was is the point that I want to make. When you guys are hosting, um, I kind of feel like you have the, the biggest um, opportunity to benefit from that event. You only do it once a year. Why not take advantage of it? So get two, three weeks in advance. Start emailing your clients, emailing your, the people that you do business with, potential clients, people that you network with out there, and start inviting them to your Martys. I, it's, it kind of baffles me, really, at, at how little they take it seriously about the opportunity it is when you're hosting a Marty to get people on your turf, in your home, in your business, and, and promoting your business. So that is going to be one of the things we're definitely going to make um, uh, do better at in 2014. So that's what I had to cover today. Thank you for joining me here on uh, Coffee with Kurt. Until next time, we'll see you next week.